bond's face, not fit for human eyes. What, what is the difference in the, in the Viacom community if I'm going to be, if my houses will be monitored, why is it okay for human eyes? I think it's a precautionary thing, but I understand what you're saying. You didn't build it with a monitor. Why should you be relegated to living in each other with a monitor? And I agree with that. It's not fit for human occupancy if you have to monitor something. Sustain. That's the bottom line. So why are you different? Are you guinea pigs? No. Yes, I'm going to disagree. Okay, I'm going to disagree with you. You monitor to protect your people. We have eight. We our people, we get them out of there. I can't them. talk to that, but I can talk. We're treating the hydrogen sulfide. We monitor our workers. They've got instruments. Right now, they've surveyed about 40 houses. We have found no LEL, but that doesn't mean things can't change tomorrow. Get people in the houses. You've got to have the instrumentation. Now, the next step of that is should the houses be there now or not? I can't answer that. Okay, but just because you got an instrument in doesn't mean it's an imminent danger. That means we're monitoring to protect you. We do that for our workers all the time. I have a couple questions, sir. Um, you mentioned the Yeah, there, there's four other horizons that have been identified. Big Hum was the shallowest, but there's four other ones that have been identified as being either crude oil production or crude and gas. And the exploration geologists that we're, we've got under contract is looking at those. We're going to be looking at that. Okay, these sands will completely around the correct? Uh, yes. Okay. There's a probability that the oil and gas is completely around the sulfur, Yeah, they put oil and gas wells completely around the dome. No, I'm not talking about the well, I'm talking about the same production. If there's gas in it, then it's going to migrate out of there. It's going to come up over the years. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, is it that, 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 that. Yeah. That's a question that certainly has to be addressed, and that's something we're working on. Once we find out, once we find out which zone it is, then we'll find out if that has been produced enough to pretty well disseminate it, or, or is that going to be ongoing over the next few years? Okay. Uh, as far as the sands around the dome, not all of the sands are in communication with each other around the dome. You have separate fault blocks where if you produce one here, it does not affect the next one over. So they're not all in communication vertically or horizontally. On the west side of the dome, the ones that we know about are fault separated. As far as how much oil or gas is in each one, you have to be able to map them all. And if you don't have a lot of well control, you can't map them to 100% certainty. So you can make guesses as to how much oil or gas might be in these zones. And that's what some of the studies that their petroleum geologists will be doing as they move forward. Okay. To speed up the process, are there any good in the back and south side of the dome? No. And will there be any uh, back wells back in grandmother? I, I don't know right now. Can't answer that question. That off that day is going to take a while to migrate, though. Once, once that player dies down on the 2000 ball property and way right over the, uh, the wellhead, this gas is not going to stay there, correct? Oh, yeah. The, okay, don't. The, the three or four wells that are flaring now, to get the gas under control is going to take a lot more wells all over the place than we're talking right now. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one of the directives, I believe, in Amendment 4. That's a lot of gas. 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 There was a, a meeting in the Valley
fantastic. It was okay because apparently the crowd was fairly solid. And then they found the same anomaly in the next round, which I guess was Rocky two. When they went out, but then the next time, are you aware of this or have you studied that? Now? We 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 are aware of the Oxy one uh, clay drilling. Yes, we're aware of that. We are working on that right now. We've got our cavern in experts working on it. My focus right now, I, I wish there were more hours in the day. My focus right now is going forward, dealing with the immediate situation, the forensic analysis, going back what happened, where, when. That's going to have to wait. We're, but we are, we are collecting all that data from every resource we can find. We are looking at all the caverns in that area that I showed you on the slide. We can't just look at one. We've got to look at them all. And we're doing it. Do I understand it right that uh, one well got that H2S gas in it? It's one of the wells that y'all drill? The, That's coming out of your head. Yeah, right. Shut off? The, it was in the cap rock. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't think so, given the geology and everything else, but that's why we're monitoring for H2S all the time now. Okay, I can't assure you it's not going to happen, and all I can do, and it gets back to the instrumentation, all I can do now is monitor for it. Uh, because we've got that collapse zone in place, we know the cap rock is right up against it, and we're checking the wells, we're checking the, um, the water supply wells, the new monitor wells that are required under Directive 5 will be monitoring for that. So all I can do, we monitor for it, we are looking for it, we are not, we're not going to quit. Once H2S showed up, you go forward as monitoring for it. Um, if you, your people now are working with monitors for H2S. Is there, is there some type of monitor that, that can be given to the people to monitor in home until Texas Brian comes up with a with in home monitor? Uh, yes. So why can't we get that? Well, can we buy them? No, we shouldn't buy them. No, I, they should be subscribed. I, I hear what you're saying. Texas Brian, when are you going to do it? I have to look at it. I can just answer the question, is there such a monster? Yeah. Are they readily available? Uh, no, you have to get them from an industrial supplier. The problem with any of that, the H2S monitors, are basically the, the easiest one would be the small personal monitors that I showed you the picture of. You have to make sure the batteries are kept up, up to date and everything, but those are the easiest ones uh, that are readily available. Okay? So they're just like you saw in the guy's belt. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes, sir. I'd like to know why don't you just go ahead and let the people that won't be. You know, I mean, uh, that, that, that's, what, that's what I was addressing earlier. Yeah, I know. That, that they're all people that, that are just they not. They everything they got. Who, you, who would buy a home over there? My lifter, uh, Texas Brian. Yeah. 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 The question, the question, yeah, very, very good point, and that's the point we were alluding to earlier. We know now this is a long-term process. I think Mr. Hecox is being as straightforward as he can. And for those that, that, that want to move on with their lives and try to get back to some normalcy, financial concerns, the ability for them to relocate, we'd like you to address them or bring it to your people in Houston to 
possibly start addressing their concerns. Obviously, there are people that don't want to relocate. They built their life there. They want to stay there. And we want to make sure that the environment is brought back to its original condition. And though those folks, we want to ensure them that we're going to be here for that to the long term, until the end. Yes, sir. But so we we be asking them now to try to bring that back to use and hopefully give some explanation to the citizens in the future. I understand, I understand you work here and I don't know what they're working, who's paying for all of this. Well these people are being paid by you. These are your taxpayers. Well, the thing is, there's nothing going on. The thing is that they don't even pay what they owe. You now, the state's having the fine. They don't even pay that. Point well done. Well done. Do something besides sitting here and run all these drafts up here. I'm not talking to you. I understand. Quite well, Dick. He's saying he's a rockologist and he's a bubbleologist. From your perspective, you want to get back to a normal life. I understand. I understand. Yes, one second. This gentleman's been waiting for a while. He's been bubbleologist. You addressed some concerns to Texas Brian. Lots of people here have made specific things that they feel Texas Brian has done or should do, and this thing has been discussed at quite great length here by numerous people. But we have Texas Brian people sitting in this room that we have yet to call up there and ask for a response from them about what and when or you're going to do it. They're just, sitting, they're just sitting here listening to it and have yet, and the guy that can respond is sitting here. Why don't we ask this gentleman what Good point. are you going to do except sitting here talking about what needs to be done? Mr. Martin, are y'all willing to make respond to these, these requests? Nothing. 